The Minister of Health, Professor Isaac Adewale, accompanied by the Deputy Governor and other top government functionaries to kickstart the implementation of the Basic Health Care Provision Fund, beginning with the symbolic enrollment of some of the beneficiaries. Under the scheme, free medical services will be provided to the poor and most vulnerable members of the society. The Basic Health Care Provision Fund, according to the minister, is in line with the economic and growth plan of the federal government. The health indices will change, our women will stop dying because they will no longer deliver at home, our babies will survive, and Nigeria will come out of the League of Nations where women die in pregnancy and uh, during labor. And we can be sure that we'll break down malaria. We will make sure that all vaccine preventable illnesses are taken care of and the life expectancy will increase. But what is unique is that for the first time in the history of Nigeria, money will flow from Central Bank to this facility without stopping at anywhere. And there will be two signatories to the account, the head of this facility and the chairman of the World Development Committee. And they will have money remitted to them every month. The launch of the health scheme also comes with the unveiling of equipment procured by state government to enhance the activities of extension health workers in rural communities. So we cut into the glory of God and for the improvement of medical delivery in Nigeria. The equipment include four vehicles, 68 motorcycles and 15 vaccination fridges. The state deputy governor and the commissioner for health speak on the impact to the health sector. We are really excited and very happy that uh, the, our health sector has now improved to some certain level that we hope by having some of this intervention funded again, we are able to improve on it. 70% and 60% and respectively of the work of the community health extension worker and the general community health extension worker is supposed to be spent at the community level, to go to the community level to directly provide them um, services. So the Basic Health Care Provision Fund will take care of um, this gap, and which I think will ensure that no one will be left behind. As a partner of the Basic Health Care Provision Fund, the state government is expected to pay a counterpart fund of 100 million naira, in addition to the provisional facilities that will enable effective implementation of the scheme. Emperor Simon. Channels Television News.